hello friends welcome to another hands-on tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to configure load balancer using nginx we have already discussed how load balancer and uh, using different algorithms so we will see same algorithms how it's work in real so you can watch the previous video load balancer and how it works i have given the link in description sections Let's begin. For demo purpose, uh, I have uh, configured three server here using a different port. So far, this is the second one, and this is the third one. Uh, this server, uh, this is server three. And so, uh, let's connect to your uh, config file, nginx config file. Uh, so the for command is nano etc nginx sites enabled and uh, your file config file name so we have already uh, done this before uh, the reverse proxy uh, setup so i will give you a link in description section you can check that one so let's go there coding x dot in my configuration file name enter so this is the reverse proxy setup uh, it will uh, redirect to particular uh, ip with the uh, port number 8080 so i will uh, show you how to set up a load balancer so as i have already uh, told you like this is another instance of uh, reverse proxy so we will use upstream directive to uh, make it uh, load balancer upstream and the, your load balancer name so suppose uh, I will give you a load balancer. So here you just set up your multiple server so using server uh, uh, keyword like server your first server uh, IP with port semicolon yes. So in this way the you can set up your, your uh, third server uh, whatever you, it, it depends on your load. So you can set up uh, two or three, but I'm setting, I'm showing you here uh, three server, server, three, yeah, this is uh, 8082, yeah. So this is done, you just uh, here in server section location, you just uh, uh, put the load balancer or name. So. you have to write uh, load balancer only load underscore balancer that means your upstream name load balancer yes it is done by default or uh, this setup is uh, using uh, load balancer robin uh, round robin algorithm so let's uh, test the configuration nginx t yes test is successful so restart the uh, nginx so this nginx restart enter so now uh, we will go and check uh, let's open an incognito window here coding x dot in enter yes this will uh, load balance will serve you in a sequential way 1 2 3 then 1 then 2 so this is the uh, round robin algorithm so the round robin uh, you can you set your uh, uh, load balancer just simple uh, upstream directive this is very simple you can check a document for the more details i will give you the link in description section so this is the round robin and we will check list connection algorithm now so copy this list connection and go to your configuration file again enter yes you can directly uh, just write down the list uh, connection here so now uh, it is your uh, list connection algorithm your load balancer will use control x then y then enter then restart your server again. Nginx restart. Now your 
load balancer become a list connection so again uh, just connect through in incognito because it might have a cache so coding x dot in yes so this is not uh, actually measurable because the same way it will solve so you can check uh, in real uh, server so this is how the configuration made for the list connection and round robin so let's see now uh, ip hash how it's work so ip hash basically uh, simple uh, uh, forward to uh, the load the particular server if your ip is the same or the same user will access the same uh, server here so let's go to the configuration file and instead of list connection i will write here ip hash So control X, Y, and enter. So we have to uh, restart again the server service engine X restart. Enter. Now it's done. So let's check. Let's open info in the window again. Coding X dot in. So here uh, you will see the only one server you will serve. And this is server 3 will always serve what whenever you request because it's the same ip so this is how uh, these three algorithm works so i will uh, give you the link in description section uh, for more configuration you can check uh, this documentation thank you for watching please do like share and comment if you have any queries uh, please subscribe if you want to learn something new Thank you so much.